Howdy everyone, welcome to another episode of Played With Toys, Jaime here. Today we are taking a look at a new line of figures, I believe. Well, kind of a new line, it's like a sub-line within a line. That is the Robot Spirits Tri, Side SK, Guar, 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 maybe that's how you say it. I'm unfamiliar with this series, I did actually watch an episode of it the other day, it was actually pretty freaking cool. Really liked it, apparently these guys are like, uh, it's from a series called Knights and Magic, and these are, I guess, I don't know if they're nightmare frames or something like that, but essentially, I mean, obviously there's like giant knights piloted by uh, people. So pretty cool stuff. Um, definitely uh, interested just because, uh, you know, as a Robot Damashi collector, they decided to come out with a new line. So I'm like, hmm, I have to check it out. And I'm actually going to be trying to get all of them. So forgive my noobness and a lot of these uh, mecha anime. I've definitely been watching and catching up on them but just you know honestly i'm a toy collector guys just like everybody else if i see something that i like i want to buy it and i see a lot of robot damashi that aren't gundam or other series that i haven't watched and i'm like those are freaking cool so whatever i buy them check it out so speaking of let's go over this so the box itself is not numbered if you'll notice it's a pretty small box it's the same height and everything as uh, far as the other normal standard issue Damashi uh, releases go, but it is you know thinner. There's not as much inside of it, so but they're not numbered, so that's uh, something interesting to note. And same kind of concept and everything. So you know you've got your side there just with the furthering of this uh, decoration, and then of course a picture there on that side, and then you're back with some. Uh, different options and all that stuff so overall small box it feels more like a figure art box than anything so interesting to note analyzing data so as you can see this guy is pretty I don't know I want to say he looks very basic he doesn't have a whole lot of like chromed out or metallic painting you see some you know light painting and stuff throughout and he isn't as well articulated I would say as a normal Damashi I believe that these are designed to be uh, less expensive, so, you know, that's kind of the concept. But a lot of the stuff from, you know, Damashi articulation, and joints, and uh, look and feel, and stuff like that, are still here. So, that's good. I, I do feel like it is overall, yeah, I mean, it feels like a less expensive Damashi in my hand. You know, and just even looking at it as well. I mean, while the paint apps are good, um, they're not like freaking amazing or anything but they're certainly you know pretty good for you know paying 20 30 bucks or whatever it was uh for you know the two that they've released so far so i do like this like tabard here and i feel all the plastic is appropriately uh you know uh, the hardness and all that stuff and uh, i do just you know like this look even though it's kind of weird like clunky looking but that's not really their design it's more from what i've seen the design of the uh frames themselves so you know they look kind of funny but I, I do think that some of these like single joints and stuff uh look kind of weird um not sure if i'm the biggest fan of them uh they're done okay um but i feel like with the trouble they went through they could have just gone ahead and given us double joints for some of the stuff like with the way they sculpted these and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal but i don't know so anyway uh you know nice red coloring and black and gold kind of t you know shimmery right there shimmery there all that stuff from the eyes you can see uh, very triangular very you know uh, it's got like circles and triangles uh, so it's a very interesting looking piece you know just to state that so I, I do like it it's uh, it's just very different so from from anything I've owned uh, the thighs to me are kind of you know goofy they kind of stick out but it looks kind of like a robot right doom, 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 doom. so that's cool but let's go ahead and go on with the accessories and see all the stuff you get which honestly isn't a whole lot first off you have a pair of swords now these swords can be attached right back here just you know, like this on that peg right there and you can carry them around like that or whatever so you can do that. You could even, I guess, just have one sword back there too. Now these are held together by clips, which you do or don't have to use. 
uh, you don't necessarily have to use rather, but these two clips right here hold them in place. They really don't have to take off it. It's just harder on camera, and as you can see, you just slot one sl uh, sword through there, slot the other one through here. So that's how you hold them together. But pretty cool little swords, kind of big, uh, not super glossy or anything. I would say definitely, you know, a little bit more matte, especially that red there. And he only comes with two pairs of hands, so this first pair of hands is meant to hold these swords. And these are his only weapons as well, so no no slash effects or anything like that. So these are, you know, again, very basic, um, you know, uh, f figures here. Now, it also comes with, he also comes with another pair of hands, which the hands are fine, you know, as far as I can tell. Um, pegs and everything look nice so feel like a Damashi and maybe uh, a little bit softer than usual but maybe not I don't know I'm try, trying to remember let me take a look here I've got other hands with me actually other Damashi hands yeah about the same so and they swip off, switch off pretty easily so it's not a problem you've got this peg there it doesn't move around or anything at least uh, that I can tell nope but it's big and that means it's got some, you know, a little bit of play there. You just put that on there. And then you've got a little bit of wiggle room. So, and that's okay. So, not, not too bad. Pretty good, you know, range of motion there. But it will pop off uh, kind of easily. But, you know, that's uh, Damashi figure arts for you a lot of the times. So, um, and, then, and then these are your other two hands. So, Nothing too super crazy there. So you're also going to get, lastly, a stand here. Now this is actually three pieces. Uh, this little bar here, this little base, and I can't get the other piece out, which happens to be stuck right in his butt. It's this kind of, uh, you see it right there? It's like a little thing that I can't pull out for some reason. Um, but basically it's just where you can plug your base into, which will also work with the A-Stage Act 5. So, that's cool. But, dun dun dun. So, that's really used for more, you know, uh, I guess not, it's a, basic, it's a very basic stage uh, stand, so you don't expect to get a whole heck of a lot out of it. You know, it's just kind of like a third short leg. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I'll be using it, I might for some. And I don't know if they're going to be doing that for all of them, but uh, I mean, at least you get some sort of stand, right? And don't have to go buy a necessarily a five ninety nine or three ninety nine stand, even though I do have all the uh, you know uh, the stands that I want. So anyway, uh, let's go over articulation, guys, and check out what this bad boy can do. Is he a Damashi or is he not a Damashi? All right. So to begin, his head is not the most articulated. Unfortunately, it is partly due to the fact that obviously it's sitting in between these two pieces and that I think if it wasn't for any of that, you know, it would be for the most part fine. So really due to the design there, um, that it's just a single, you know, neck joint in there. There's no, it's just a single ball peg rather, no double joints or anything. I don't think there's really much double jointing anywhere here. So, but you do have a pretty cool little shoulder system. I think it is... This this armor plate obviously is sitting on this shoulder here, which does have a little bit of articulation. Um, the shoulder plate, and then you have a joint that moves around, and then you also have a bicep swivel, upper bicep swivel. So you've got two uh, ways of movement there. You've got a single uh, jointed elbow, so which comes up pretty much all the way. So as far as, you know, it's, it's going to allow it to go there like that. And then we already went over the kind of articulation for the hands, so not too terrible. Now for the waist, uh, it's going to be, you know, really minimal, I would say, um, for the most part. I mean, you can twist them like that, but getting them to look up and down is not, not going to be the best. And while we're doing that, you know, this, of course, is uh, movable as well. Or, should be there we go so there's that peg in there so you can see that whole system and 
So you can get a little bit of backward and forward motion like that and side to side, stuff like that, but not a whole heck of a lot. You're gonna get more side like that than anything. And then on the thighs here, the, um, bah, you know, your thighs <laughs> and hips. So it's single jointed, but with an outer kind of covering there. So you've got an additional swivel as well. And uh, they're kind of just on this very simple T joint there. And you can go, but I mean, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty ridiculous. And as far as kicking out goes, let's get these like swords out of the way. You can kick out like that pretty naturally, so that's that's also very good. So a surprising amount of articulation, I think, for such a, a inexpensive figure. So that is good. Now you can get the, uh, the knees or yeah, sorry, shins back as far as calves back rather. As far back as the design allowed to go, so that's no fault of the knee joint itself there. Now, this right here, you've got two different pieces that are articulated, so this will move all over the place on a ball joint, and this one right here as well, on a ball joint down in there. So, not, not too bad there, pretty good articulation I would have to say. I mean, look at that, look at that, look at all of that, it's pretty good. So no no issues no complaints there. This thing this thing will pretty much twist all the way around I guess if you really wanted to. Um, so pretty good for the feet I'd have to say. Now what do I think about this figure? Well I think that it's a pretty good figure. It's not perfect but I mean it's in an inexpensive version of what we're used to and I think for that it's not too bad it doesn't have the best articulation but it does have pretty good articulation that articulation is lacking you don't get a whole lot of accessories but I guess the two nice you know two accessories you do get are nice and at least you can use them for battle sure would it be used to get uh, nice to get some other hands or maybe like an energy effect or something like that to go along with it yeah I think it would have um, but overall you know it's a fair price um, you know it's like half price right so you're gonna get half the value I don't know if this is quite half the value maybe this is like mm, 35 40 percent of the value I think so you guys be the judge you guys really like the figure I think it's nifty it's cool it's gonna sit on my Damashi shelf and I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing what else they do because as they've improved the Damashi line I'm sure they're gonna modify and tweak this line and do all sorts of cool stuff for this try line so if it works out that's great this is more for us to collect maybe they can try out like this line is called try try out new designs things that they're not uh, properties they're not 100 percent sure of sell for a little bit less see if there's any interest if there is boom there we go they go ahead and bump it up to Damashi. we'll see you guys anyway thanks for watching y'all take care stay tuned for my giveaway video coming up here pretty soon and uh, happy holidays.